discipline, good emotional intelligence, perceptive and really good communication skills. Close personal protection teams are responsible for the physical security of high office holders. If I was asked what an average day looked like, there is no average day. So it really depends on the movements of who you're protecting. You might believe that you're spending the night in one city, but you're actually on a plane that evening to spend two or three nights in another city. It's a lot of variety. That's what I enjoy. When I arrived at the college not knowing anyone, I was terrified and excited. I had lots of perceptions about whether I could fulfil a role based on my abilities, and I found that what has changed me in the AFP is my confidence. Uh, the training is pretty intense. There's a lot of firearms work. There's also the driving. Really important part of CPP, of course, because we're driving um, armoured vehicles often. I don't want to give too much away, <laughs> but let me just say it involves some paintball and some pretty quick reverse manoeuvres. <laughs> I often get, oh, you don't look like you work for the AFP, um, which is really interesting. We all have different strengths, and I hope as a female that I'm seen on the basis of my skills and experience, not, not necessarily that I'm a, I'm a woman. Okay, and so you need to have some fruit too, okay? I have a 10-year-old son and a 12-year-old daughter. Like a lot of other people, they don't really understand what I do. I think they focus more on the fact that mum has a firearm at work and, and handcuffs. <laughs> As you go throughout life and you have different circumstances for your family, there are roles that you can, you can fulfil and there's a great deal more flexibility. My career at the AFP over 21 years, it's fulfilled my expectations in terms of the, the opportunities to work in multiple locations around Australia, overseas. If you're looking for many careers in one, then the AFP is the place to be.